Hello again fellas, it's me again, just another quick video for today. A few people have commented that they'd like to see this Philips SGS203 streetlights being fired up, and so I'm going to oblige. Now I've bypassed Photocell, so it'll come on as soon as power's applied. So let's fire it up. Power in three, two, one. You'll notice it starts white. That's because these GE Lucalox lamps have a very high xenon pressure in the gas fill. Once the sodium starts to vaporize, that's when you start to get the characteristic golden yellow from the high pressure sodium. After a few minutes, there we go, we can start to see some yellow coming in now. I'll just adjust the exposure of the camera. Pulling about 83 watts at this stage. Normally takes about three minutes to reach maximum power. That's 100 watts. Obviously I'm measuring the system power which will be higher than 150 watt obviously due to losses in the control gear. That's getting quite bright. Ooh. 115 watts. Let's take a moment the filter. Oh, these are shit filters, so apologies if I'm not screwing up. Yeah, there we go. Forty watts. Oh yeah, we're getting bright now. Fresh inside there must be. <clears throat> That's a hundred and fifty watts now. Hundred and sixty watts. I'd expect to see about twenty to thirty watts lost in the ballast.
270 watts now. Total system power from the ballast and the lamp itself. That's pretty much full power. We've got a power factor of 90. Let's see if we can get a close up view of the arc tube. Right, we've now stabilised at full power. We're pulling 178 watts from the mains with a power factor of 96. And it's quite bright. And we get that lovely golden yellow which is uh, high pressure sodium is so renowned for. The actual colour temperature is 2000 Kelvin. Yeah, lovely. And there she is at full power, it's quite bright as you'd expect. And uh, I'm not going to have this on for much longer because people might phone the police because they might think I'm growing exotic produce shall we say <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i hope this has been interesting see you later